We need to get subscribe and get this unity stronger and beat YouTube at their own game. Okay, that's what this is about. Like I say, go to the remix button, hit the remix button. That way you'll have this video and, and keep up with this. Otherwise, you know, YouTube's just going to control us, guys, and it's, it's really bad. Hi everybody, today is July 28th, 2013. Things are not improving at all at Fukushima, Japan. In fact, things continue to get worse. Fukushima radiation levels as high as it was in 2011. Water samples taken at underground passage below the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant contain alarming levels of radiation, which are comparable to those taken immediately after the catastrophe according to a Saturday statement by Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO. The tested water contains 2.35 becquerels of cesium per liter, and the radioactive water is now seeping into the sea. The findings were also evident from samples taken within 50 meter radius around the plant. TEPCO specialists are pleading stupidity. They've hit a wall trying to solve the problem of the leaking groundwater which has persisted since 2011. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out why they're getting radiation outside the perimeter. The containment vessel went into meltdown. The material fell to the bottom of the container and then slowly ate its way through the cement, the barrier to the groundwater. And it went down, 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 and now it's leaching into the ocean. The article goes on to say that, however, unlike that, they cannot tell what the source of the newfound radioactivity is. The current explanation is that the radioactive water that had been left in the underground trench some two years ago is now mixing with the groundwater, which is in turn contaminating the sea. How many of you remember the leaks, the water that was coming from the containment vessel underneath the ground? and going into these trenches. Remember how they filled them all in with cement? Well, when the radioactive material went straight down, fixing a leaking trench, which is off on the side, doesn't stop the radioactive material that is going straight down down. Remember the talk about the China syndrome? They didn't know what to expect once this material, and this material is all the components, the gears, the rods, all the metal that melted and is now highly radioactive and going straight down through the earth. Now this is dated August 22nd. I'm not sure what year, but it says Fukushima China Syndrome. The worst case scenario is happening. So what happened was all this material and it shows what it really doesn't show all the metal and machine that was involved that melted. It went through the floor, which was supposed to stop it, but it didn't. Went down into the soil and then down into the groundwater. So evidently there's something going on with Unit 3 because steam has been reported and it's radioactive steam. 2 has just recently reached a large pocket of groundwater. That's why you're getting the steam. So the steam is being released into the air, which is going through the jet stream and, of course, circulating the world. On Saturday, TEPCO said it had detected high levels of trinium in water under stricken Fukushima number one power plant. They have readings of 8.7 million becquerels of trinium per liter in water taken Friday from a cable trench running under the turbine building of the number two reactor at a point about 50 meters from the Pacific Ocean. About two years ago, they raised what they considered was legal limits of radiation. And even with those raised limits, these readings are 145 times above the legal limit. They also announced that Cesium was also discovered at 2.35 billion becquerels and 750 million becquerels of another unnamed radioactive substance, which also includes strontium that emit beta rays. 
So now they're playing dumb, saying that, oh no, no China syndrome has happened. It's not in the groundwater. But just last week, TEPCO finally did admit that groundwater has been tainted with radioactive substances. And this groundwater is going into the ocean. And this is nothing new. There was reports shortly after the disaster happened that radiation was detected in sewer systems and groundwater that was being used in construction. When this radioactive sewage sludge was detected, then they decided um, more than likely what they would do is burn it. Here's another article dated August 2011. Radioactive sludge collects in Japan's sewage treatment plants. So it only took them two years to admit that they have radiation in their groundwater, even though there is evidence that shows it's been there all along. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. Gabba shop. Bye.